everyone, here we are for the 2021 Messiah High School graduation. Wow, the beginning of a new decade. And in the beginning of the new decade, we have our graduates. Today, I want to talk about the Messiah graduate because it's a very special uh, and very unique type of uh, graduation. The Messiah graduate uh, really has some special meaning. And the title of my message today, I always like to put a title on messages, is The Noble Calling of the Messiah Graduate. So I want to talk to the graduates right now. And I want to tell you, you know, this year, the theme of the year was The Noble Calling. And we use the scripture out of Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You know, there's a high calling of God. And when you understand that God calls us, each one of us, in our own unique and special way, and through salvation in Jesus Christ, we find out who God created us to be. And each one of us have a special calling. Each one of us have a noble calling. The word noble means having fine personal qualities or high moral standards principles and ideals and you know I know all of the graduates here from a long time and uh, I know all of you have a noble calling and that you're noble people first of all I want to start with a uh, a quote from Gandhi he said you must be the change you wish to see in the world you know the world needs a lot of changing right now and there's a lot of people with a lot of ideas of how to change the world. But in order to truly change the world, there must be a noble calling. It should be a noble change, the betterment of mankind. And so as you go out as the Messiah graduates, uh, I always think of the Messiah graduate as a person of three things. One, a person of ideas. Two, a person of ideals. And three, a person of idealism. I talked to you about this before at your senior ring uh, ceremony. And uh, I shared some things about the noble calling. And in this noble calling, it's important what you will do in life. It's important what you will accomplish in life. But it's more important than all of your achievements is the essence of your being, the inner reality of who you are. And so when I start talking about the Messiah graduate, the ideas, let's start there first. Um, when we start started the Montessori method of teaching here in our Christian school, the purpose of the Montessori method was to be able to reach every unique individual. That's why we don't have uniforms in our school because we're, you're not uniform. Each graduate you know are so different and yet, each in your own unique way, you have a noble calling and a noble character. And so when I talk, talk about the Messiah graduate as a person of ideas, it makes, this is how we think about it, the ideas is in the mind, and it makes the mind a thinking and a learning place. Most people think of schools, the building, the institution, the setting as the learning place. But you see, at Messiah Montessori, our focus is to create a prepared environment. Yes, we have everything, all the materials, everything out so that the child can learn, so that you could learn. And as each one of you came through all the way from childhood, all the way through elementary, all the way through middle school and now high school, that exterior prepar prepared environment actually got you to a place of making your mind a thinking and a learning place. The learning place is in your mind. And so the Messiah graduate is a person who knows how to think. They can think. They can think for themselves. A person of ideas. Secondly, it's you're a person of ideals where you make the soul a beautiful and noble place. It's one thing to think. But it's another thing to take those thoughts and process it in your soul so that the things that you are learning begin to help you become a beautiful and noble person, that your soul is a noble place 
that God has created. So the Messiah graduate is a person of the ideas, making the mind a thinking and learning place, ideals making the soul a beautiful and noble place, and idealism. Idealism is where you really believe you can do anything. And if you know anything that I've taught you over the years, and I want to thank God I'm not only your principal, but I'm your teacher. I've taught you that you can do anything. That through Christ, you can do all things. And, and you can make the world a better place. I shared with you how God himself told me to start this school. And, and I remember when I started a school, so many people say, well, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I said, you know what? We can do anything. We can create a place of education where the children are the treasure. It's not just the treasure of some type of facility, but the children themselves are the treasure that we're developing along the way. And in idealism, you make the world a better place. We believe that you can change the world and make it a better place. And so today we talk about the noble calling of the Messiah graduate. The Messiah graduate these, with these ideas and ideals and idealism. And you take that and put on top of that the noble calling. That place where God has called you into the high place. I recognize that you are people, the graduates here, each one of you possess the potential and capacity of nobility and honor within each of you. Each of you possess something that has so much potential. And we believe that through these years at Messiah Montessori, you've learned how to develop that potential and apply it in your life. I want to share another quote. This time the quote is my quote. It says this, Noble people of honorable character change the world around them impact the people with whom they connect, and uphold a standard that raises the conscience of mankind so as to attain a higher sense of being. I want to say it again. It's three points in this quote that I have. Number one, noble people of honorable character change the world around them. Just by being who you are, just by being a noble person of honorable character, you begin to change the world. You create a different atmosphere. You begin to prepare the environment around you. And so when you have that noble character and you stand with this noble character, it changes the atmosphere. Secondly, noble people impact the people with whom they connect. When you come with honorable character, you begin to change the atmosphere around you and it impacts the people that you connect with. You know in your own selves that as the, the, the graduates and y'all began to interconnect, each one of you have had an impact on each other. And I've seen this impact for the good. I've seen how uh, this impact caused this one to, to grow a little more in this area. And, and you, another one, caused another one to grow a little more in that area. And I want to thank God that you're taking this potential that you've developed in your lives and you bring it into the world. The third point is noble people uphold a standard that raises the conscience of mankind so as to attain a higher sense of being. You see, a lot of people go into the world and they have a lot of achievements and a lot of people are in the rat race. Well, I want to thank God that we're not rats and we're not racing. What we're doing is we're being somebody. And as you go forth as the honorable people, changing the atmosphere, causing your character to impact the people that are around you, upholding a standard that raises the conscience of mankind around you, it causes a higher sense of being with everybody. Everybody you come into contact with, just because who you are, it raises the consciousness of other people and it makes them realize maybe there's something in me now. And that calling that you have begins to call to them. I was once interviewed by some of the Messiah Montessori middle school students. They asked me, what is my favorite thing to teach students? And I said several things. Number one, to teach them to believe in themselves. Listen, I believe in you. You know, graduates, 
All these years I've spoken to you, I've shared with you, I've taught with you. And one of the great things that I, I know more than anything else, and you know it, I believe in you. And I also not only teach them to believe in themselves, but how to think, yes, I can. Yes, you can go out and change the world. You can be who God called you to be. Even in the face of no, when everything says no, you can't. I know that instilled in you is the reality that yes, I can. Another thing that I love to teach students is teaching them to do things for themselves so they can become independent people who are world changers, who are doing things while others say it cannot be done. I've seen you so many times when we've been having projects and doing things, it looked like maybe it couldn't be done. But we shared with you and taught you and encouraged you and created the atmosphere where you believed in yourself. And as you began to work together and impact with each other, you began to realize, yes, we can, we can do it. We are independent thinkers who can change the world. And when everybody else says it cannot be done, I know you're the ones that are gonna be able to say, I already did it. I also believe in teaching you and all the students to have faith in God. Why is that? Well, first of all, having faith in God reveals to you who you really are created to be in Christ. But secondly, when you face the impossible, you will face impossible situations in your life. But when you face the impossible, God himself can reveal to you who he is, his presence with the reality that all things are possible to them that believe. And so I just want to thank God for all the graduates. I want to thank God for a noble calling that the, the Messiah graduate is someone with ideas and ideals and idealism, a noble calling of who they are in Christ to raise the conscience of humanity around them. And when it's all said and done, you live your life after, after high school, you're going out into the world and that world needs to be changed. And you're the one that God is saying, you're the one that's going to change it. I want to share a couple of other things. Number one, first of all, the, the uh, Philip Montessori, the great grandson of Ma Ma uh, Maria Montessori, the founder of the Montessori Corporation, wrote to me one time and he said, and we were talking about our early childhood teachers and assistants. And of course, our graduates have been through every level. And he said, the children, this is what um, Philip Montessori said, the children are very fortunate to have such dedicated and devoted teachers. Not only have I been a teacher to you, but we've had some great teachers along the way. Many teachers, many assistant teachers, specialist teachers, staff members that are really administrators, but as they're administrators, they're teaching you along the way, just through their interaction. And I wanna thank God for all the teachers, and I wanna be thankful, and I know you are too. All the teachers, all the assistants, all the staff members, all the administrators along the way that really have put Messiah Montessori together in such a way that you got the benefit of the gift that God has given you through Messiah Montessori School. Philip Montessori finally said this, it's selfless efforts, talking about the teachers, like this, that make Messiah Montessori School one of the best in America, an outstanding example of what a Montessori School should be. You know, when we started, my wife and I started this school many years ago, God told me we were on a mission from God. And the reason we started the school was for the students. The reason we started the school was for you. And I've always said this, the only people that really belong in our school are the ones that really appreciate what we're doing because we're doing something very unique. We're taking children and not just stuffing information in them, but what we're doing is we're nurturing them we're creating a home away from home, that you grew up with us. My wife and I feel like we're 
for your grandparents as we're raising you along the way. And I want to thank God uh, that your parents appreciated our school. And I want to thank your parents and your grandparents and all the relatives that supported you along the way. Because it really took a, a, a family, not just your family, but the family of Messiah Montessori, working with your family, working with you, to really raise you to become the person that you are today. We have wonderful Messiah graduates, our 2021 Noble Calling Messiah graduates. The first one, Bryce Fonseca. Bryce, you started with us at the age of two over at the Toddler Center. Can you imagine? You grew up before our eyes. You've been an active student who have been involved in every aspect of student life at Messiah, starting from a little kid and growing up two-year-old, watching you grow along the way. You've always been ready and eager to do whatever necessary to help us get things done. Anytime I needed something done, I said, well, let's just go ask Bryce. And there you were to do it. If we needed something done, you were like Joseph in the Bible, who they described that he was the doer of it. If anything needed to be done, he was the doer of it. Joel, you have insight beyond your years into what is important in life. You started at Messiah at five years old in kindergarten. And then, for whatever reason, you drifted off into another place and then you came back home. And you've been with Messiah ever since. I want to say this about you, that you have virtues of nobility and peace and your character reflects these virtues and impacts others around you on the Messiah Montessori campus. You're a caring and a sharing person, a good role model for all the students. And like Paul the Apostle, you are ready to press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Laurel, you, I think you ring the bell. You started with us at the age of six weeks old when we had an infant center. Laurel, your gentle, pleasant manner, stable and consistent, working well with everyone. You're talented, you're intelligent, and you made a 35 on your ACT. Who does that? Like Esther in the Bible, you have a mind of your own to set your own path of destiny. And you have a willingness to go wherever that path leads you. It says this about Esther. You have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Taylor, you started with us at, at the age of four years old. You're a quiet soul and you will quietly change the world around you. You're like Ruth in the Bible. You have a servant heart, gentle, kind spirit, and it's leading you into the path of your godly inheritance in life. I'm proud of all of you. You grew up here. Messiah Montessori has truly been your home, and you have made a difference already in our school. You four graduates have help to be a model to the whole school. I am proud of the way you conduct yourselves. I'm proud of the way the character that you have really is a reflection of everything that we could have hoped for in an education for you. You see, you not only aced it because all of you have great grades. All of you are honor students. All of you are going into college. All of you are getting to the place where uh, you're going to the next level in your life. Every one of you. I want to say I'm proud of you for that. Where you're going is going to be a reflection of where you've been. You've been in a place of love. You've been in a place of respect. We love you. We respect you. And I believe through the love and respect that we taught you, wherever you go, in whatever college, university, whatever career that you find yourself in, there's going to be this noble, high calling. A person of ideas, a person of ideals, an idealism person, a person that's ready to 
take the world on. And through Christ, you know you're going to make a good difference in this world. I'm proud of you. I call all of you our noble calling Messiah graduates of 2021. We love you. God bless you. And we thank God for you. God bless you.